welcome everyone to Catch Up Convos. Um, so for my next episode, I am joined with Tina Neath, who is a personal trainer at J2 Fit. So hi Tina, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Hello yeah. everyone. <laughs> so can you first tell us how you started to get into training? So what motivated you to start training and get into your personal training sessions and things like that? Um, for me, I think to start off with, it was all about um, the eating side of things before I got into the training side of things. It was about retraining my brain into eating again. Mm. So for me, that was my starting starting point. And then it just it just escalated from there. It was just, I found the love then for lifting weights. And it just progressed. The more I did, the more I wanted to know. So just like feeding your brain, if that makes sense. Yeah. Information. So do you thought, is it just weights or do you focus on car- cardio as well? Or everything. It's not just, um, fit, it's, it's general fitness. Um, I'm, I'm a firm believer that you've got to have a good balance of everything. Um, I did used to just focus on weights and I soon found out that you may have looked good but you wasn't necessarily very fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on a running machine, you start yeah. nowhere and you're yeah. not good. Yeah, so for me that kind of, now I have a good balance of everything. It's, it's, you've got to have the three elements, you know, fitness weight and flexibility you've got to have good balance of the three that's good so it's in j2 fit you do a number of classes mm-hmm. now and you have loads of people following you and enjoying it and you also do the transformation sessions mm-hmm. um so what, what do they all entail is it like lo- i understand there's loads of groups of women all doing it mm-hmm. so do you give them like a training plan like diet and fitness regime and they've got to stick to it or is it kind of tailored how their lives fit and stuff like that so Along my journey of doing this, I've learned that um, unless you understand, you can't learn something. And it's like for women especially, it's like the more that you understand what you're doing, the more you're able to absorb it and take it in. So it's for me, it's, yeah, you have, I give you the tools to be able to change your lifestyle. Um, I'm not a firm believer in dieting for an excessive amount of time. I think if most people just give their lifestyles a good shake up, it's all about balance, isn't it? You know, it's, it's you can't hard diet forever. It's not sustainable. Um, but obviously, everyone needs to pull it back every now and then because they want to get into that dress or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's all about balance. I find lifestyle changes work far better than hard dieting. Yeah, it's good. Cause like at the moment, obviously, I'm doing sessions with it myself. Mm-hmm. Like before I come here, I all I used to do was cardio. Mm-hmm. I was like cardio queen. I used to go in the gym for like two hours, four times a week, train, train, train. Yeah, I lose weight, mm-hmm. but then muscle wise, there's like not much in my legs to be torn and arms. But then when it comes to like stomach and hips and things like that, it's mm-hmm. just you just got to wait. I never know. It's just that I th- is that when all that comes in, like so. It's, it's about body reshaping, isn't it? Cardio is great. You know, it's great for your fit mass. It's great for for building up your lung capacity. It's great for stripping back your fat layer. But it's not necessarily going to put curves on your body where you want them. You, for that, you need to build muscle. You need to lift weights, eat right, eat to fuel for that, if that makes sense. I find that most people who focus on cardio don't really eat that much to promote muscle growth anyway. So it's kind of two negatives in, in that situation. If somebody comes to me and, and they're like, oh, I can't gain any muscle, or I can't gain a bum then, and they're doing flat out cardio all week. The first thing they're going to tell them to do is to pull back on their cardio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because you're just kind of like running off your gains, if that makes sense. Yeah, you're not gaining any, really what yeah. you want to achieve. Like, yeah. so everyone's different as well. Everyone's bodies are different. Everyone, everything and that. So, see, with the classes and stuff like that you do as well, do you have like a favourite class like for weights? Do you feel like one like, proper gets everyone pumped up? <laughs> do you know, like that? I, I think... Um, I, I love all the classes. Oh, I, I, know, I know it's, I know it's, um, but yeah, I, I love all of the classes. They all literally do exactly what I want them to do. So it's like individual. Like um, on a Wednesday morning, we've got body tone, which is a weight class, and yeah. it is exactly what it is. It, it's a weight class, and we go in, we smash out the weights, and we leave. But then on a Tuesday, we've got abs and arse, which is just literally all about, you know, getting getting a pump on and on your bum and working the abs and it's it's tailored for you to do exactly what you want it to do yeah if that makes sense yeah that's good that is because obviously yeah some girls like for example 
if they if they've got no problems with their legs, for example, like that, they're going to be more focused on like the abs, like say abs and yeah. arse and the yeah. obviously. Like. Yeah, that's good. Um, so when you do the transformation programs, um, how long do they last? About um, the transformation programs last for twelve weeks. Um, I do do other challenges and stuff like smaller challenges, but I I love the transformation challenges. It's like having a room full of caterpillars and watching them turn into butterflies is absolutely amazing. I love not just the fact that um, it affects the girls in the class, but it affects their families, the way they, they're so much more active, their kids m mimic what they're doing. It's like, I love it, I absolutely love that. So I know it's not just what we do here and now, it's what you do while you're not with me as well, that kind of, that's what, what counts. Everyone can be good in a class, but it's what you do outside of the class. Yeah, that's, you know, what, that's what counts. Do you know, it's so funny you say, because right now when I'm doing the training sessions and how the weight, weights run, my um, oldest daughter, she's so funny. You think she's like, go on, mommy, go oh. on, mommy. From my last friend, yeah. she's like, go on, and she sees me struggling. There's nothing, and, and to be honest, there's nothing more rewarding than that. It's like, for me, I, um, it's, there's no two bigger differences than my own children. It's like my oldest one, she was pre-fitness and then my youngest one she's very much been born into fitness and she understands how her body works all about her macronutrients blah 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 whereas my oldest she doesn't really know that much until she learns now if that makes sense it's not yeah. normality to her whereas when you go home now and your daughter sees you doing stuff like this that's normal to her so she mimics that and then as she grows up she understands that she's got to look after herself yeah i do tell that she asks me she's like mommy why do you do this why do you do that and I, I say because when you're older i say you've got to say like you go to school and like she does swimming and mm. stuff like that i say for us when we get older we've got to put it into our days it's like obviously we got to work yeah i say we've got to push our bodies yeah. said to get a good, what the bodies That's that we want definitely so yeah she's so funny though when i do that <laughs> <laughs> with the transmission programs i know the people come back so obviously you have 12 weeks I guess some people obviously depending on what people are aiming for. Mm. Some people will go away and they obviously just keep doing what they're doing. Mm. They might come back for classes, mm. but not the transformation programs themselves. Mm. Did you have people coming back? Yeah. I bet it's nice for it to be in a group as, in, as well, though, isn't it? I think, um, yeah, definitely the girls. We I have girls that started off in transformation three years ago and they still stay in transformation now. And it's, it's literally, it becomes lifestyle if, if that makes sense um yeah girls go off they come back it's it's entirely up to them you know the door's always open for anyone to to join in and take part but there are different stages of transformation as well obviously there's two levels i wouldn't say levels there's two different groups for two different reasons for what you for what the individual body needs yeah. so throughout your throughout your journey you know you're never going to stay the same so it's like i have some girls that start off in the, the fitness and fat loss group that will then come back and co go into the toning and, and muscle building group so yeah. it's, it's literally and then vice versa some girls then will come off and they just want to strip back a little bit so we'll go back into the fitness and fat, fat loss group it's great for that reason um but yeah it's the group it's it's the i think the support that you um that you create with each other within a group setting, bringing everyone together and making them realise that we're all in the same boat together. We all want to get to the same kind of destinations, and if we all just work together, you will get there a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Especially, I think a lot of women get to get I do because obviously you get one in got work, you've got kids and mm. things like that. So everyone's a lot more. Is everyone supportive and they everyone understand? Like one day you don't do the training you're supposed to do. It. Everyone's like, oh, don't worry, do it tomorrow, and then That's you do right. it, mm. smash it out, just done. Mm. It's the Not motivation, of, and also it makes you realise. Whereas when you do things solo on your own, everyone's different. Some people like a solo journey, and then some people like being part of something. If if that makes sense. Um, but when you do a solo journey, you are very much got nothing to compare yourself to. Yeah. So you can, it can make you feel like what you're going through, it's only you that, that's ever going through that. Whereas when you're in a group setting, you understand actually that person over there is feeling the same, that person over there. Yeah. That actually what I'm going through is pretty normal or part of the process. So you kind of like, it eases you a little bit. If it, yeah. I, I find myself, um, yeah, you end up, realizing that it's normal rather than what you're going through is, is a bit strange like. <laughs> so obviously with yourself how many times do you, without the classes mm. and obviously transformation how many times do you train a week 
I'd say about five times a week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sometimes it's every day. And it? Yeah. It's, it depends how I feel. Um, I don't really set myself a limit of times that I train a week. Um, but it is a daily, daily thing. If I need to take a day off, then I'll take a day off. I used to be very driven by um, spending so much time in the gym and so much blah, blah, blah. When basically, as long as you're getting your workouts done and what you need to be doing, it's fine. You don't need to be spending 20 hours a day <laughs> training. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, like when I was in training, I used to live in the gym. And mm. I think it got, it just got to a point. I think it used to be boring. Yeah. And I used to be like, I used to go to the gym and I used to train on my own. Because mm. I was one of those people, I couldn't talk to people unless mm. I finished my workout. Yeah. Otherwise, I just wouldn't do it. So yeah, I used to find that quite frustra frustrating. But now, whilst you're doing training, I'm doing it in the house or I'm doing it with the kids and things like that. So it's a bit... It's, it's easier to do as well, mm. I find, rather than stuck in, in a gym on your own. It's boring, isn't it, I think, when, when all I the time. Anyway. When, when I first started, um, when I first launched my business, I launched it doing home sessions. And I did, I did that for the reason of being that there was so many women out there that just hated the gym. Um, but now I do it so that your workouts can be done anywhere, whether you're in a gym environment home environment, yeah. whether you're outside or on holiday, wherever, your workouts can be done anywhere. And I think it's not your actual environment of where you're training, it's the actual training that matters. It doesn't make a difference, you know, like if you're doing it in your shed or if you're doing it in a high-tech gym, as long as you're getting your workouts done. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, like I said, where you train, because obviously you're in good shape, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So do you have any tips like basic tips for dieting, so if there's people wondering if they could change any simple things with the diet, do you have anything you'd recommend? Um, okay. Basically, I think the biggest problem for women especially is not eating enough food. Yeah. Definitely, I'd say most females under eat rather than overeat, and people think that less food equals less weight and they couldn't be so far wrong you just got to eat small amounts of food regular and often keep your metabolism sped up sped and running running efficiently rather than shutting it down by yeah. starving yourself so yeah that for me is probably one of the biggest um if i could put that out there yeah, is, is literally <laughs> just say to people food isn't your enemy you know you've got to literally food is just fuel for your body you've got to eat for what you want your body to do it's that simple so that's that is obviously true because now like when I'm training I can't stop eating yeah. and the more I train the more I want to eat it's just like it's impossible it's because it's as well now you're um you're weight training and having muscles burns more calories so you're gonna need more calories to satisfy your body if that makes, you're gonna be more hungry it's, it's normal that's but that's perfect I love hearing <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah uh, all I do is eat I think my food bit has gone around us I know I know <laughs> but I don't mind I'm eating so I'm happy I am um so see when you started training is there any like celebrities which you follow do you like some celebrities and go oh, I like that training I'm gonna try that or try their food or diet so, like I'll, for example not like Listen to celebrity also like slimming world like meals mm. or like celebrities like I like Joe Wicks for mm. example is meals. Is there any celebrity meals you like follow or take any of those I don't. recipes? No, I, no, I don't. Um, for me, it's just. Are you a good cook? Um. <laughs> for me, it's like I don't know. I I'm, I don't overthink food because I think that's people's biggest problem you know they overthink food and it's like for me I eat for what I want my body to do and I'm probably not as normal as most people <laughs> when, when it comes to um, food if that makes sense because I just eat it for what I want my body to do if I'm going to train hard today I know I've got to feel, feel my body for that no I don't really follow any particular diets mm -hmm. no, I just know that it's basically carbs proteins and fats <laughs> I know it's sort of but yeah that, that is basically how I live my life, I know it's kind of boring, but yeah. It's not boring, it's not boring at all. And there we go. So, so obviously with your business, doing the personal training, what made you start up in the wrong valleys? Is there any, like, did you do anything motivated? Do you think, right, I'm going to start it up here in the wrong valleys, j do you think it was missing? Do you think that's something that they didn't have offered around you at the time? Um, I definitely... So when I first started, I like I said, I started off doing home sessions. I wasn't gym based, and I had a. Um, it was a very good. It was. I, I loved it. It was. I was flat out. You know, like it was definitely a need for that. Um, but as I've evolved my own business, it was. I wanted to not only just show people um, how to train, but not make 
I wanted to show people not to be scared of coming into a gym environment. So um, then when I came to J2Fit, it was perfect because it gave me the opportunity to do that. Um, you're in a gym environment, we can do PT sessions with it's just me and you. Um, you can come into a class, and it's just full of girls that are going to encourage you. Or you can join a transformation where it's just going to change your lifestyle. So it literally offers everybody everything that, that, that I need them to do. It overcomes, with um, what I do, it's not just about training. I deal with so much more than just getting somebody to work out. Sometimes it's just getting somebody to get up and come to the gym. Actually get out of the car and step foot into the gym. People can be so scared of doing that. And yeah. then it's, sometimes it's things like that that you have to overcome. Everybody's different. Everyone's got their own little things that hold them back. And just by having different ways of being able to show people that they can still do it means that it, it fits everybody's lifestyle. No matter what your issue is, we can get around it, if that, if that makes sense. I think that's good because a lot of people as well, like if they're dealing with anxiety or Definitely. depression, things like that, I've always thought fitness, anything like that, even just going out for a mm. walk, like something simple as mm. that, makes you feel so much better. Definitely. When, when I first started, um, I, I've pretty much been every single person that I trained throughout, throughout my life. And um, I have had, nobody's, you know, done anything with me. I've done it all myself. Everything... You know, I went out and did all my courses, but then everything else has just been trial and error of doing things myself. Yeah. So it's, I remember the days of going to new gyms, sitting outside for like 10 minutes, having to give my head a wobble and being like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember doing exactly the same as what most people do. Um, all I try to do is to show you that it's not what you think. Once you actually get past them doors, you'll realise that oh, it's, everything's not what you think it, it, it's going to be. Yeah. I think it is important for people to know, like obviously like you say, if they're nervous and things like that, with a transformation, I think that's good because it's a group of girls mm. and everyone's very welcoming, mm. everyone is friendly, so it's nice them to know they have that support as well. Definitely. So if they come in on the first, I think after one session, mm. I think they'd feel like The first session, amazing, I, I always, I love the start of it, um, the tra when the first session, right, it's so funny, because obviously I've been doing them a while, so I, I know how it's always going to gonna plan out and it's... The first session is everyone comes in and they're so scared and they're so like <laughs> bags of nerves and blah, blah, blah. That's why I put them straight into the group so you all can get to know each other, you all can, without actually being face to face. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because you kind of lower your inhibitions a little bit then. And then by the time you come to meet in again, you already feel like you know each other. So that's dispersed, literally, that feeling's gone. You don't feel so much about walking in. So yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's really good. There we go. Okay, so. Thank you everyone for listening to Tina. So I'll also pop up some posts. I'll do a tag for Tina Needs personal page. Thank you. And a post with all your classes which are available. So if you want to get in touch. So thank you all for listening. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>